Hi, how are you? I miss you guys. <laughs> welcome back i'm so glad you're here and if this is your first time welcome to the channel we're like all pals here just chilling talking we do have a lot of conversations down below in the comments so if this tickles your fancy don't be afraid to say something i read all your comments and i love to engage with you guys but i really do appreciate it guys i do do love all your comments you guys leave comments i also try to reply to every single one of them or even leave a like on it because i love engaging with you guys i love to hear what you have to say sometimes they may be long but i'll listen to it i'll listen to it for sure that being said in today's topic we are going to be discussing i want to say what might be considered a little bit controversial because this is something that i've been thinking about for a long time and when i mean a long time for like i want to say two three years and i started thinking about this when i was in university i was part of a group that was kind of like a black student group and one time we had a conversation we we're just talking about black things and I guess black businesses and I put up the question and I said I feel like the label black owned business does more ha harm the accent is coming in the label black owned business does more harm than good to businesses especially in the long run let me tell you something i did not leave that room unscathed people were coming at me they're like how can you say that you know this is that especially you being a black person support black businesses and i feel like we're so brainwashed into thinking that that we ignore every kind of common sense because we've been brainwashed to think that black people are these oppressed people that need your patro patronization to succeed in anything so we're going to talk about that today now you might agree with me you might not agree with me but I would appreciate if you at least made it to the end of the video before you start typing. <laughs> All you keyboard warriors, I'm one too, so I totally got you. I feel like the term black owned business has always been there in the US. Black owned businesses or business also known as African American businesses originated in the days of slavery before 1865 when there was emancipation and civil rights. I would say that the reason reason why probably people labeled that as black owned business was to be a good thing especially in the days of our forefathers things weren't so great the first time i heard personally of the term black owned business was when i was in university it actually started becoming a more popular term and it was something that made me think at first i was like oh black owned businesses definitely supporting black owned businesses having supporting other people which was great is good you know you should support businesses if you want to or not but i think my eyes got opened during the last year of my university because i thought that why would i want to label myself as a black owned business it's a great question to have the label does really well to isolate you from potential customers from potential patronizers you know is that the word i don't know maybe i feel like that's what it does why would you want to harm your business in that way and one might argue that black owned businesses should be supported always but i'll disagree i disagree with that actually not all businesses should be supported if you don't want to support a business you don't have to and you shouldn't want to support a business just because it's black owned that being said i did look into an article to be honest i don't know where this article stands i don't know if it's something that was act actively researched but it's an article so i'm just gonna show you guys here does the black owned label help or hurt black businesses in 2020 the black owned label became a beacon for those seeking to support black businesses but 
it has also brought a backlash. According to the research from the University of Washington, businesses may not see long-term benefits from labeling themselves as Black-owned and could face unintended consequences from doing so. Researchers studied businesses during the pandemic that labeled themselves Black-owned. Specifically, the study analyzed GPS data from 45 million mobile devices in 20 cities to determine visits between restaurants that did and didn't use the label. The researchers found labeling in initially the restaurant's visit but soon dropped off, raising questions about the long-term vitality of labeling campaigns for any business. So why do I bring that up to actually have the discussion today? And it all falls back to the reason why I originally said that labeling yourself as Black as a Black business doesn't really do good for you. And it's pretty sad because this is what it says, right? I want to branch into the possibilities of why that label may not be the best, even if you're starting out. I feel like businesses shouldn't label themselves as that, even if you are, because it doesn't help you in the long run. If you look online and ask what are the things that Black-owned businesses go through, what are the challenges that the label does, they usually have to say something Thing to do with racism but I don't think it is I just think that people don't feel welcomed in black owned businesses and I'll give you a huge example of what I mean it might not be noticed if you do it but I think this person really brought to light what a lot of black owned businesses do and that person is Keith Lee if you like this kind of content that I create or you just like the vibes here you know subscribe become part of the family we do things like this every time so join us also like the video too and turn on your your notifications bell just so that you are notified when i post every saturday all right back to the video now if you don't know who keith lee is he is a former mma fighter and he kind of transitioned into doing food reviews now he would buy the food himself and he would not only review the food but review things like the customer service how good it was the people the workers like the whole restaurant as a brand that's what he would do and most times he would go to small businesses and small business owners and basically buy the food as anyone else would and then come online and review it now he had done different cities but then he came to atlanta <laughs> atlanta 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 the whole internet turned upside down because he posted this video about his experience in one of atlanta's reputable restaurants which was the real milk milk and honey now that video went viral obviously and i feel like the restaurant didn't actually respond well because they did something petty but he did complain about number one not being able to call to order he couldn't get anyone on the phone they don't take phone orders apparently number two tried to go on doordash they don't take doordash orders usually what he does is that he sends other of his family members in because he doesn't want to like name drop he doesn't want to name drop and doesn't want to be given special treatment he wants to know how they treat other regular people which makes sense i know i might be saying all this story and it feels like i am just going off on a tangent here but it is for good reason because i believe that them labeling themselves as black owned businesses gives them some kind of entitlement to other people's patronage patronage is that the word i don't know if that is it let me know but that's what i feel like it does people might want to help you and want to support you at first but if you if your product isn't good if what you're selling isn't great if your customer service is trash that's how you get people to start dropping off does it really help your business or does it isolate you from other kinds of different backgrounds of supporters i personally feel like labeling yourself as a black owned business isolates you to just one particular type of audience let me know what you guys think really labeling yourself as a black owned business kind of puts you in a box and you stay contained in that box you might grow 
but you only grow within the box i was looking into this actually and one thing that i saw because if you search up black owned businesses the first article you see is 100 black owned businesses to support now and forever why do i have to support it it feels like a forced call to action that you have to support this business now and forever these are 100 black businesses that you can support now and forever why am i being taxed to support them why can't i just see a business and i'm like oh i really like what they do and i support them that's how it feels it's like telling me to support them why what have they done <laughs> what have they done for me have they answered any of my questions have they solved any of my problems what if they haven't do i still have to support them these are the things that kind of irk me it, it gives me like an egg like that's my egg am i wrong am i being too diabolical why am i supporting a business i don't go to walmart and say oh i want to support walmart i go to walmart because i need to get food <laughs> God damn. i don't go to target and say oh i'm gonna support target today no i go to target because i want to get something from target to support my life subscribe and like the video and join the family It is not my duty to support a business and it is not the business's duty to task me with supporting them. I feel like this is something that has to be said because it's getting too much now and I really do feel for these small businesses that start out thinking that okay if they label themselves as a black owned business things are going to go well. What's more likely going to happen is that someone can just buy something from you for the first time but after that they're like yeah I don't really need anything from you. You're not really solving any of my problems so I'm just going to go my own way. And then you get your hopes high because you might have had beautiful sales in the first quarter of your business. But then because you've had those sales, it feels like you are doing well in business, but you're not. Instead, you're failing. But it's like, I don't even know where I'm failing at. Like, what is it that I'm failing at? So I don't even know where I can start to fix it so it kind of leaves you in limbo and you're just thinking like what is it that i'm doing anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below i created a twitter and an instagram so you guys can follow me on there and also if you have topics that you want me to talk about definitely send them my way i love to talk jesus i can talk all day so send them my way okay all righty well it was nice seeing you today <laughs> And I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, promise? All right, bye. Oh, do I not look pretty? I feel like I do. I feel like I look pretty. I feel like I do look pretty. What? Who's this? <laughs> not me. <laughs>